Guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust Stanley, and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to train your AI with your data so that you are going to get a more accurate result or a more accurate answer when you are uh, chatting with the AI or when you are asking the AI some question. Now, um, click on your chat GPT and have it open. So um, the first thing you need to do actually to train your AI is actually pay attention to the information you are sharing with the AI, which is right here. Now, um, you can start your conversation by training your AI with um, an information before you ask the AI the question. If you do not do that, it's actually going to go ahead and give you information based on a generalization. So it's going to give you information generally on what people are going to, um, of what is actually going to be best answer for you. Now, what I mean is this, if you are a blogger, you can do this based on a blogger. But since I'm a content creator, which is a YouTube content creator, I am going to explain this in a YouTube content creator way. But this also works perfectly well for bloggers too. Now, this is actually what I mean. So let's say I want to actually get um, 10 video ideas from the chat GPT. So I can say, give me 10 YouTube video ideas right and then click on send pay attention to what i just asked i actually asked for um 10 uh 10 youtube video ideas and it just based on what people watch and what is actually trending on youtube uh when the information was put to the data this is actually what it gave me so now it telling me that i should make video on how to tutorial create tutorial on your skills and you are good to go like a beginner's guide or photography and then the next one is um product review then uh, travel vlog and um, food re and recipe uh, fitness and workout then gaming and then movies there are even more now before i go further so you can take your time to go further on your own time. Now, if you want it to give you a more appropriate or a more direct or reliable answer, you need to actually train the AI with your own data for the AI to understand what you are asking it to give you. Now, if you want to do that, just go ahead and do it on the comment section or the message section. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a message on the message section. So now I'm going to ask it the same question, but before I ask it the same question, I am actually going to share some data with the AI so that AI will know who I am, what I do, and what my content are into. Now I'm going to start this with um, all right. Okay, um, you can go further to share more information with the AI. That is if you want to. But then I'm actually going to skip this because I have other um, um, I have other things to actually share with you before this video round up. So go ahead and share more information with the AI if you want. Now I'm going to ask the same question. Give me 10 YouTube video ideas now you can notice i did not put anything so um even though you didn't tell it to give you based on your niche or what you do the ai is actually going to understand that you need it to be different from what it has given you but in order to make this clear i am going to start this uh with a new chat so in a new chat i'm going to paste my prompt and then i'm going to send it now let's wait for it to give us um, a new suggestion or ideas now you can now see that the top 10 ideas that has been given to me right now is quite different from the previous one you notice now this is more direct into tech now it says top 10 must have gadget 2020 tech review latest smartphone and comparison now how to build a gaming pc um step-by-step -step guide then the number four um, exploring the feature of augmentative reality and then tech Q and A. Now there are even more. You can look at it. Everything right here is based on tech. It doesn't actually 
go off the line it focuses on the tech videos and this is exactly what you would want so if you did not share your data with the ai the ai is not even going to understand what you are into so it's going to generally give you um videos based on um based on popular opinion or based on trending content but now i've actually shared my data with the ai so the ai understand that i have very few subscribers and also i have um a youtube channel which is a tech content so it's giving me information based on that now to confirm or to share this information you are actually going to know that if you do this on multiple devices you are going to get either exactly the same answer or different answer but based on the information or the data you shared with the ai so to further prove this guys anytime you are asking the ai question is going to actually assume you are the same person because it actually have your history already backed up. So it's going to assume you are the same person. So it's going to give you the same information or similar information or, posi or rather positive information based on tech. But most of the times you might actually get this wrong. So um, what I'm trying to say is this. This is actually how to train your AI and this does. And I can prove that information. All you need to do, click on the menu go over to the settings area and then you can notice where it says data control you click on it now you can now see where it says um chart history and training now i hope you get what training means now below you can now notice that below it says that um um, save new charts on your device to your history and allow them to be used to improve our model. Now, it says unsaved charts will be deleted from our system within 30 days. This setting um, does not synchronize across devices. So, you should actually pay attention to the information that is sharing with you. Now, if for some reason you want to uh, back up uh, your history you can always back it up but do not worry we are going to do this on a different video now guys another way to actually train your ai to always remember the information you shared with them now i can go back hold on go back and then you notice where it says custom instruction now this custom custom instruction is actually the main area where you train your ai and it doesn't actually forget the information now if you click on your custom inf instruction you are going to read more you can go ahead and read the information about what the custom instruction does and how it's actually going to help you so if you finish reading it just go ahead and click on continue now when you click on continue you are going to enter further information about the ai or about what you are into now you can notice the first information where it says would you like um would you like chat gpt to know about you to provide you better responses now below you actually have to add your responses and also um how would you like the chat gpt to respond to you so this is actually where you tell the chat gpt what you do which is saving your data or sharing your data with chat gpt so that it's going to always remember what you are asking and then below right is actually where you tell the chat gpt how to respond to you or how to respond to um your messages in the conversation so um i don't always add this but this is actually very important but um i don't add this because i am not a content um I am not a blogger now if you are a blogger you would want to actually add this one but if you are a youtuber you can only share your data on the first one on top now i'm going to go ahead and share my data right here on this first one and then maybe on a different video i'm going to explain the difference between these two better so that you understand it now i'm going to share my information right here i already have it written and saved on my clipboard so i'm going to copy out information and paste it here so what you need to do is to click on or you tap on add so once you tap on add you can now start typing in this area so once you finish typing you are going to be, go ahead and save it so let me go ahead and start typing all right guys so i am done typing and i actually have more information to share but i do not want to uh i do not want this video to get longer so once you're done typing go ahead and save the save option is just on the top right hand area so go ahead and click on save and uh, you notice it's actually on blue so hit save and it's going to save up and you are going to notice that our custom instruction has now been enabled so now i can now go back and then ask information or ask my question without actually telling the chat gpt or sharing my um personal data with it so i can now say um 
give me 10 YouTube video ideas. All right. Um, for some reason, it's actually making a mistake. Now, uh, we are actually asking this question. So it gave it randomly, but do not worry. The same place. Now, watch. Give me 10 YouTube video ideas based on my niche. So ask it this question and it's going to give you everything based on your tech niche. Now, if you are still confused or you still want to be very sure about this, let me go ahead and copy this out and then I'm going to do it on a new chart. So there you go, guys. This is also based on tech videos and this is not going off tech. You can look at it very well. Pause the video and then play it uh, and then look at what is showing. There is no information going outside of tech because it already recognizes my niche. So this is actually how it gives you information based on the data you have provided. And this, guys, is actually how you train your AI to understand what you are doing. And guys, if this video is helpful, please share it with your friends and also like and subscribe for more video. I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.